Hi everybody, it's June 24, 2018. I am not going to go into the information that I'm going to be showing you at the beginning of this video. This video is just to show you that our trees here, that I've lived in this apartment complex for a year and I have seen these trees right where I live just in this apartment complex and please understand what you will be seeing represents all of the trees all over Anderson and it is heartbreaking driving around here looking at these trees struggling to stay alive you look at all of the disease that is in your face and then you face all of those who just don't care at all and I am it, it's really remarkable but the uh, evidence just this summer has become more obvious but I have posted a lot of tree videos most were on Kafka Winston World I can't find them I can't repost them this is on Never Lose Truth watch silent forest trees dying rapidly but hey genetically and uh, genetic engineers are on it genetically modified trees and it's a, a compilation of a lot of experts talking about trees dying it's not just from the aerosol spraying, but at the tail end, I go into the genetically modified planting of trees all over the world, but also in the United States, in the Southeast. Very few people even know that we now have genetically modified trees. And I show the trees in Anderson, as well as trees in Maine uh, that I noticed that were it's all over the country these trees are really all of our trees are really struggling to stay alive it's not just the aerosol spraying but it's also our Wi-Fi world that dries out the trees I will post to a plain truth infos video trees are dying everywhere and guess what we are next without trees well trees Everybody should realize how important trees are. And nobody seems to care. Now, yes, of course, you guys care. Um, but few care. You know, I, the trees here, I have pointed it out to literally everyone that I have, um, have had some kind of relationship with in this apartment complex. And I will tell you, I, I can't relate to anybody, but I pointed out they don't care. I pointed it out to the manager. You're going to see these trees here in our apartment complex. The manager doesn't care. Well, I, it's, I don't know. Uh, there's such a disconnect between so many human beings and nature itself. It's frightening. But Southeast, hey, yeah, and South Carolina, ground zero for genetically engineered trees. Synthetic forests are not sustainable. 250,000 plus oppose USDA proposal to approve first ever genetically engineered forest tree. And they don't care. They're planting them anyway. Uh, genetically engineered trees condemned in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Look at the dates on these articles. 2010, eight years. U.S. clears a test of bioengineered trees. They're all over the country now. Yeah. G genetically modified tree plantations bred to satisfy the world's energy needs. We are destroying everything natural and bringing in an artificial world. And if that doesn't upset you, I don't know. Uh, you're, you're not someone who I can relate to. Genetically modified trees are being strangled by red tape. This is in 2015. Strangled by red tape. Oh, deregulate and get those companies out there planting them. And that's exactly what we did. New genetically modified tree approved by USDA with no assessments no safety safety testing for anything anymore it, it's remarkable 
There was no safety testing for cell phones. They were just put on the market. No safety testing for 5G. Just bring it out and put it on the market. No safety testing for genetically modified trees. Just put them out. And many experts have already said, you plant genetically modified trees, and it will have a a negative effect, a bad effect, deleterious effect on the natural ecosystem. Who cares? Plant them. Who cares? With U.S.'s first genetically modified tree comes a forest with potential problems. Genetically modified forest plan for U.S. Southeast. We've got those South Carolina companies right on it planting genetically modified trees. Everything artificial. So let me show you what I have videoed here. I put out fresh water. We had a rain. I went out after the rain. This is what I found in fresh water for the cats and the birds. Fungi. It has already been proven that they are spraying fungi that are killing the trees. A blob, a glob, just right smack out of the rain. Guess what? It's not just going on trees. We're breathing it. We're living in it now. The evidence of fungal disease, the spreading of the fungal disease in just one year has been shocking. Now every tree is covered except for the crepe myrtle. Somebody should test and do a study on why the crepe myrtle doesn't seem to be affected. I don't know why but these are our trees. You point them out to people, who cares? They don't get the connection between that tree and themselves. Everything's connected. Everything is connected. Your life is connected to the trees. Try to tell people that. I, I mean, I, I have literally said that to somebody and they laughed at me. It really is heartbreaking to see this. So the manager, the management of these apartment complexes, they're supposed to be, I mean, it's part of their duty to take care of the grounds. Do they care? No. I don't know, last year, two years ago, I can't remember. I called three companies and spoke to one telling them about the fungal disease and are they not noticing what's happening? They said no. I called another one. They knew. They were horrified. I, how is it? One person says, I don't know what you're talking about. Then you talk to somebody else. They know exactly what you're talking about. You see the faded leaves on that tree, the periphery of the tree, and the top of the tree. I'll get into that in a second. In part, it's because the immune system of these trees is um, so weakened due to the fungal disease. You can see how these trees are really struggling to stay alive. But when you see all of this fungal disease all over every tree, then you would think that people that it would beg questions at the very least it doesn't it doesn't it, it, people have stopped thinking and do you know how often I hear from people well we gotta die sometime anyway look at these bushes look at these bushes so it's the Wi-Fi environment the aerosol spraying and the UV rays that is obvious that something is wrong. 
The bushes are burning up. There are leaves on the trees. The, the leaves on the trees, you can see the, the faded leaves that should be very vibrant and a deep green. That's not happening. There are so many trees now. This is a new sight for me to see. June, middle of June, well, it started at the beginning of June that I noticed all of these leaves were literally dying on these trees already. And it's not even the hottest month in, in South Carolina. Already we're seeing this. That means that something's very wrong with the environment. Something is very wrong with the sun. Something's wrong with the ozone layer. Something's wrong with the natural protection that we have always had. Now, how many people do you think bothered to care to think about this kind of stuff? They don't. You see all over the place trees that are you, you, just one hanging branch struggling to stay alive. Trees dying everywhere. Look at those leaves. They should be a deep green, just like the leaves underneath, but they're not. So I just, you know, look, life is dying. <laughs> I, I would think that most people would care about that, but they don't seem to. If they don't care about the trees, they sure don't care about themselves.